Okay, guys, so looking at the Carnot map question here, yes, we're looking for groups of one, two, or four. So, so on here, I'm trying to make the largest groups possible. So uh, an obvious one is across here. That's a group of four. You could make another group of four here. And where you could go wrong is in these bits here and this bit here. So you could say do a group of four here, couldn't you, I suppose? And you could group, do a group of two here on its own. However, the correct way of doing this last one is to do what? Yeah, fold. So you'd fold that across and onto that side, forming four groups. One mark for getting that one, one mark for getting that one, and then one mark for the final fold. Okay, guys, and so here, uh, let's start here. We're gonna look at this term here and figure out what it is. Uh, in this case, remember, what we're trying to do is look to see what changes, what stays the same. And actually, these ones where it's in a line, you literally can just look at those two there. So the answer would be, uh, in this case, uh, C is zero, so we'd write down what? There we go, and, and, what about D? D is one, so it's D. D. Okay, what do I do to join the statements together? Or, so I'm gonna do an or down here. Sorry, that's a bit messy. This should come, this should be one big line, but I've made a bit of a boo-boo. The next one I'm gonna look at is this one that's going across. Again, because it's a line, I can just look at what those two are. So A is zero, so it'll be what with A? Not A. So not A, and, B. B, because B is one, and then or, and then the final one is this uh, square that's going across here. What stays the same? Zero, uh, sorry, C is zero here and one here. So is it C? No. D is zero here and it's there. So what about D? Yeah. So not D. And then I just need to also review the other side. So over here, A is one uh, here and here. B is one or zero, so which one is it gonna be? Because A. A stays consistent, so it will be A, so and A. Can I write A? Uh... So that's a good question. Does it matter which way around? What do you reckon, guys? No, it doesn't matter which order also I did the ors in. So I could have done that as the first and then all that and all that. See what I mean? Yeah. But absolutely, that's, that's, that's more than fine. So this one's sort of uh, putting it up a notch. This time you've been given these problems here. So I need to actually put these terms onto it. So I need to go and uh, include, uh, let's say that one first. So it's, I need to look at everywhere where it's A. So I need to see where it's A. So A is in here. So any of these are A, but also where it's B. So A and B are on here. So A and B is one here. So it's anywhere on this line and then not C. So that's where C is zero, so it's there and there. So in this context, it's gonna be that one and that one. And then the next one is going to be this one here. So now again, we're looking for where A is on. So A is on on this one and this one. Again, it can be any one of these ones here and not B. So it's that line there, so it must be on this line and not C. So not C is here and here, so it's gonna be on those two there. Uh, and then I was going to say finally, and that's not the case. We got C and not C and D rather. Quite right, sorry. So not C is true here, not C. So they're both zero. So it could be anywhere on here and D. So that's true here. So actually, technically, it'd be all the way down here. Yeah. However, I've already got some of those populated, so I'm good. And then finally, uh, this last one. It's gonna be, uh, I need to look where A is gonna be true. So where A is one is there and there. So again, it's anywhere on this lines. And where C is true, so C is true here and here. So it's there, so it's gonna be on one of those four, but also not D, so where D is zero, so it's gonna be here and here. The next job is to simplify as much as we can by drawing as big as box as possible. So I'm looking here, realistically, that's a line, isn't it? So I need to include that one there. So that's gonna be our big box of four. And now, of course, this is again where we could make an error quite easily. We could draw, in fact, let me do so. We could draw a box there and then one there. Yes? No. But we could do, but if we did, we failed to actually simplify as much as we can, because what have we not done? 
we haven't folded. So what we should do is do that across here and then into here. Hey, why don't I just drag it even bigger and make it a box of six? No, that would be not common. Because you can't. Boxes have to be what? One, two, two four, eight, 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 eight sixteen. Uh, by the way, I should say this. Okay, anyway. So, I should say this, and it's an interesting case I've not shown you. What happens if there was a one everywhere? So, a group of 16, so what would the answer be? Everywhere is one. That's exactly right, Satan. Yeah, so the answer would be one. And let's say there was nothing, it was completely blank, the answer would be zero, zero or false, or something, I guess. It's like, nope, not happening. Uh, okay, let me simplify uh, on here. This and this comes across. I need to see what stays consistent. Uh, does C stay consistent? No. no. C is zero and C is uh, one. Does D stay consistent? Yeah. Uh, it, but D is zero, therefore what do I write down? Not D. So, uh, oh, sorry, my apologies. Not D. And then I need to look at what else stays consistent. A is one here and one here. That's what stays consistent because B is one or zero. If A is one, what should I write down? A. A, and what's the join between them? Uh, and, and then between my statements, I'll write down or, and then I'll look here. Remember, this is a line. So actually, since it's a line, I just need to look at those two, don't I? That's what stays consistent. In fact, it's just that there. And so, uh, not C and uh, D. Um, what have we done here? What, I mean, overall, what's happened? We've gone from this to this. So what have we managed to do? We simplified the expression, but in a real context, what would this mean? Space. Yeah, well, we've, we've managed to replicate the functionality of this, of this circuit, because we could draw that circuit out, couldn't we? But we've managed to do that by now replicating the functionality by using this gates. So we've actually saved a lot of, it'd be more efficient, and we've used the space, it's all... Okay.